Oh, I got that radio on 67. FM station 106.7. Okay, friends and family are going to know what this is. That's a hanger with the Ayers Corporation, some of their advanced crop dusters. And Bob Bailey Turbo Thrust Sales sold some of those ag cats there. That's what they look like. And this is what they shouldn't look like. <laughs> hey, this thing used to look... I, I don't know what happened to this actually, but it was a it was an art piece that my dad kept around for a long time. It's made out of these, uh, you know, look like somebody as a hobby weld together these parts. You know, maybe spare pieces of iron. Made it into a crop duster. It, it's had some better days. This is what a new one looks like. Now this photo here, it's it's bound to be 20 years old or more. I'm just going to randomly go through some stuff of my dad's here, photos like I do today. I, I'm sorry about the angle on this pen. You know, we're going to formally present my dad's work at another time. I'm just going to randomly go through some things that I've found of his recently. Now. It's worth mentioning again, as I've said before, I've been out of the country since uh, July of 1996. I've visited Mississippi at least once a year and have stayed in Mississippi for up to two and a half years at a time, but for the last 18 years, I've spent about 15 of those years in Thailand. That's my dad's business card there. I used to keep one of these in my wallet, you know. Uh, I mean, never had to use it. I mean, like, you know, if there's an accident or, you know, some reason that you need to call my, my dad's business phone or our home phone, that was it. And uh, that's the home phone number that we've had since 1977. And the landline that we had, we owned the house since 1966. We moved back from Oklahoma City in 77. My dad, I think, finally moved back in uh, Christmas time of 77. When Rockwell International sold its agricultural aviation department to Mr. Ayers. Now, I've been doing a lot of things, so this, this is just random photos my dad has. I had no idea he was such a great photographer. I mean, I've seen some pictures that, you know, of uh, his business photos, but he's apparently he really liked taking pictures, and he, he took took some good ones. Now, uh, I have flown with him in a private Learjet before and taken over the wheel, as they say. Now, here's something that shouldn't happen to a mailbox. I, I think uh, my mom was trying to get the mail and didn't want to get out in the heat or something and just, you know, just kept trying to get closer and closer to it. Finally, just ran over the mailbox. <laughs> so it kind of made my dad mad. There's his car, and he's showing that, you know, he's going to have to fix this and possibly replace the mailbox, you know, just because, you know, she didn't feel like stepping out of the car to get the mail. So we're picking on my mom a little bit. Hey, there's... Madison. Madison and my dad were real close. Madison is my niece, my oldest brother's daughter. They're real real close buddies. And that's his uh, Lincoln Town car that he had when he retired and when he passed away. I was looking at something about a QB meeting that he had, and it said, you know, his last QB meeting, which was in spring of 2010, he was still able to read, you know, before he passed away, July 11th. Uh, 2010. I, I was with him when he passed away. He was in a very good state of mind and very aware of, of exactly what was going on, and he exercised his living will.
these are fantastic pictures. He's probably taking Madison for a ride up in the Delta and checking out some of these airplanes and inspecting them, you know, which is, you know, guys like him that were semi-retired, that's, this is part of what they do. You go inspect these sites, check these airplanes out, make sure everybody's doing everything safely, properly, etc. You, you know, uh, when, when you were dealing with Bob Bailey, there's no room for error. It's a, it's a saying that I, I really took from uh, a friend of mine, Ed Cohen in Hollywood, but for sure there's no room for error with Bob. There's Big Bob right there. And, you know, when, when I was dating as a teenager, I started dating kind of late, actually. I guess I started dating when I was 16. Maybe I had the first kiss when I was 15. You know, people would say, well, what does your dad do? Because my, my mom told me to only date guys if their dad's a lawyer, doctor, or owns a lot of land in the Delta. And I said, well, my, my dad sprays some of that land in the Delta. So, it's a little bit of fun in my Cadillac, too. These are great pictures. I mean, they're, they're in fantastic shape. They, they, they've been kept in this house where I'm staying now. It's the Bailey residence. Uh, the Robert Arlen Bailey estate owns four houses. There it is. That's our house. Nice place, ain't it? All right, Mosey and Alon. Here's the National Air Race, the 39th annual and air show, a race to remember. Now, a friend of mine and also a client of mine, uh, Jason Maroff, he's a marathon champion, also a video poker designer. He holds some patents in video poker. Uh, Self-made millionaire by the age of 23. He's also taught college classes in calculus. Uh, I'm not sure what state. I want to say Idaho. And he, he was really interested in these air races. I believe he attended this one, and my dad was there. I'm not sure if they met each other then. My mother met Jason Maroff in uh, Thailand when I was still the director of Capital Club Bangkok. Now, Capital Club Bangkok has some affiliation with Capital Club Jackson, Mississippi, because Corporate Club America has a sister company, Corporate Club Asia, that managed these facilities, you know, up until 1998 when Hong Kong decided they wanted to go back and beat Chinese. And that's what you do. You keep moving management around.